Okay. Uh, this is going to be a follow-up to the uh, previous... Uh, well, kind of. Uh, we were moving on from our previous adventures as the King of Ireland. The eventual King of Ireland. And we're moving on to something else. And uh, so there's lots of something else's, because you can literally be any ruler in the world. And I really like how they're doing this here. So in, in Crusader Kings 2, there were a few suggestions, I guess kind of like this, um, but I don't remember there being quite this much context on, on each of these, so it's, it's actually quite nice. Also, uh, so if you go to 1066 here, this Iberia in pieces, a lot of stuff, 1066, very eventful time. Um, this Iberian pieces thing where you've got all these different kings of Spain here, basically. Uh, this is basically all I played in Crusader Kings 2. It was like, I would pick, uh, you know, usually either Leon or Castile. And, um, and just, you know, you'd kind of try and either ally with or kill your brothers and reunite Spain. But we're not going to do that today. Today we are uh, heading over to Italy. And the plan is to play Duke of Apulia, uh, Duke Robert. So he's 51 years old. Uh, Robert started out his career a thief and head of a band of highwaymen. Uh, being one of many siblings, the adventurous son was never predicted to become a brilliant strategist and statesman, uh, ruling best areas of land. Yet here he is, a powerful Duke of Southern Italy, ready to take on the path of history which will enable the Hotbills to have a foothold in Sicily for over 100 years. If you can consolidate the power in the, in the realm, the Kingdom of Sicily awaits its ruler. So the Kingdom of Sicily is our next step here. And um, we are going to enable, definitely going to enable Iron Man, uh, Iron, Iron, Iron Man mode. Or, wait, what? So, okay, difficulty normal. Do I just click that or? Oh, here we go. Ah, all right. Iron Man. Game is saved automatically. Switching character or playing multiplayer is not allowed. Okay, enable. Achievements are now available, so that's great. Um, and. Do. Character nudity. Default. Okay. I wonder what the default is. <laughs> um, never. Def oh, okay. Well, <laughs> if the options are default and never, then I'm going to say the default probably involves me. Um, okay. Um, lots of options here. Wow. Um, okay, so uh, Iron Man mode's enabled. That's great. Iron Man enabled, so we will now actually be able to get achievements. So that's cool. Love it. Um, and we're going to be the Duke, Duke Robert of Apulia. So let's go ahead and start. Hey, yeah, my, huh. Let's call this um, Duke of... Or no, we'll call this uh, Sicilian... Conquest. Does it need to be? No, I think I can do it with spaces, right? Let's see. Mm. So we're still drinking the slain Irish whiskey here, which I feel like is going to be a little bit off for Sicily. So open to suggestions of what else I should be drinking here beginning of the Sicilian spirit. Also, got the lemonade and iced tea spin drift working here. Mm. Oh, that's a wonderful beverage. Wonderful beverage. Um, this stream brought to you by uh, spin drift. Okay. This is Apulia. Oh, there's the papacy. Wow, Pope's got a lot of land. Look at that. All right. Uh, education. Your heir won't become a great ruler without an education. 
Looks as if your heir has no guardian. Without a proper education, they'll get poor skills and random traits. Yep, so we should use the educate child action. Yes, of course. Of course we should. Of course we should. I understand. So, was that that's our heir that doesn't have it? Or is that our... Yeah, our heir needs a... Look at that little guy. Okay, he's brave, cynical, and wrathful. Hmm. All right, let's, let's get him educated, huh? Um, oh, is he... Wait. Huh? Is he... Is he already our, um, our ward? No, I guess not, because this becomes our ward. Well, what are we? Do we have good traits? Or do we want to send him to someone else? Cynical, greedy, ambitious, brilliant, and gallant. Yeah, that's those are good traits. Um... Yeah, let's educate our heir directly. Okay. Um, and let's see. Our wife. Here's our wife, Duchess Sigelgaita of Apulia. Uh, she's a dishonorable ravener. Ravener? Greedy, lazy, deceitful, hmm. and a flamboyant trickster. Okay, she's got a lot going on. Good at intrigue, though. Good at intrigue. Okay. We need to choose a lifestyle. We'll do that in a little bit. How's our council looking? So we have a bishop that's not very good. And then also does not like us. We have a, a, a decent chancellor who likes us, who's a count. We have a good steward who is also a count. We have a solid marshal, 13, um, who... Uh, Okay, I guess 12 is average. Okay, yeah. Uh, solid Marshal, he likes us. We have a uh, terrible spy master. Zero? Wow, why is this guy the spy master? Um, that's not great. Uh, huh. Why do we have a spy master with zero entry? That's not gonna help us. That's that's actively problematic. Um, so I guess we could um, uh, what do you focus? Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to fire this guy. He's not gonna like that. Uh, so we have the county of Camarda, and that's inside Apulia, or that's... that's wait, is it? Oh yeah, it just colors it differently when you're looking at them. Okay, okay. So yeah, this guy uh, is he's got some claims to some other places here. Yeah, so this guy's actually kind of powerful. Um. But could we sh shuffle him around? Like, we make a marshal? He's 15 marshal, so, like, we make Count Robert. Count Robert has two intrigues, so that's not great either. Um, he's got better diplomacy than Count Je Jeffrey here, Joffrey. So, I, yes, whoever chose these counselors did not do a good job. Um, so that's gonna be a problem. Um, I mean, even among the people who are on the council, they're assigned the wrong way, so. Yeah, so at worst, I mean, it's like, let's, I mean, because this, okay, well, also two. I mean, is, does anyone have good intrigue here? Our wife does. Well, here, so let's at least, let's have her help out with the intrigue, and that'll at least, I mean, that she'll contribute so much like the Babylon 5 card game. She'll contribute 15 intrigue to help out our spy master here, so even though he has nothing, she will make him semi-competent. Um, and I'm actually thinking maybe we swap. Um, I think we swap him over to be the marshal, because he's 15 marshal. And we swap our marshal over to be the um, to be the chancellor. And then we swap our chancellor over to be the spy master. Oh, yeah, look, he's got nine. Yeah, this is crazy how this is set up here. Wow, that's so bad. Okay, so we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put 
Joffrey over there. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna we'll we'll get Abelard back in a second. So we're gonna we're gonna get Joffrey over there. We're gonna get. Oh no, Joffrey is. Is that different Joffrey? Oh no, that's a different Joffrey. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that's a different Joffrey. <laughs> now everyone's gonna be pissed at us. Well, he's got 13 intrigue. <laughs> oh no, too many Joffreys. Oh, that's so bad. All right, well, let's see. Well then let's, whatever. Uh, so let's forget, oh. Oh, that. Wow, oh, there's a lot of Joffreys here. So this other Joffrey, although he's he doesn't own any. Okay, Count Robert has 11. Count Abelard. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, not everyone can be on the council is the thing. So, Count, oh, Count Robert's the marshal. Yes, Count Robert goes there. He swaps over to there. Oh, we, oh, they just swapped. Perfect. Now Count Joffrey's here. Okay, so now we actually have competent people in all these positions. That's great. Our wife is really good at intrigue, so she's helping out on the intrigue front. Um, and um, let's see. And then our marshal is... Yeah, let's have our marshal actually train commanders instead. Let's have our chancellor look at domestic affairs. Uh, let's have our steward. Yeah, we do need money, so collect taxes is actually a good use of his time. Our bishop is not very good, but there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, let's try and let's actually start a scheme to sway him, though, because he doesn't like us very much. And our spy master is working, doing good stuff. Okay, council's all set up. Ooh, stressful. Um, okay. And then, not endorsed by my bishop, I know, I know. Few knights, so let's see if we can invite knights. Cost 150 prestige, and we will get some knights. So let's go ahead and do that. We can declare some wars. We're not going to do that just yet. We can negotiate an alliance with Count Ro Count Roger of Messina. Enters a mutual alliance with me. We'll accept. Um, okay, that seems like a good idea. Is our brother? Is he our vassal? Yeah, he is. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, children lack guardians. We can create a duchy. Um, suggested we fabricate a claim on Salerno. I mean, yeah, Salerno's just sitting there. So, yes. Um, again, I'll put the call out. Any drink suggestions for Italy here? I mean, wine is an obvious option. Um, this Irish whiskey is good. Mm. Very tasty. Mmm. Super tasty. Um, but not very Italian. Um, okay, let's see. Um, we need to choose a lifestyle as well. So, uh, let's see. So, we do have. Yeah, we have a lot of. Uh, well, let's look at our traits. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Wow, 20 martial. Now, 19 intrigue, though. So, we could, you know. Focus on manipulation of people, the nature of secrets, and the cunning plots that will bring your plans to fruition, right? So, like, um, oh, we're already, we're already, like, pretty invested in, uh, in the martial lifestyle. So, all right, we'll keep going down this then. Martial lifestyle it is. Always choose a focus, though. Um. Strategy, which increases our martial more. Yeah, no, I like this chivalry focus. Um, because I like that it um, helps us. Uh, so attraction. Oh, it makes us more attractive. Okay, yeah, I like that part. Um, prowess. Extra skill in personal combat. 
advantage. Hmm. But what about, I mean, you think it would also, like, make us... Um... Help us be able to deal with our vassals better, you know? Like, here, like this. Control growth, you know? Like, that's nice. Right? Um... Authority focus. Strategy focus. Yeah, see, authority focus seems nice, because it gives us better ability to control our, um... Our lands here. So I kind of like that. Because I don't... Th I mean, chivalry... I mean, that's great that it helps it, but, like... I'm kind of hoping to not fight that many direct battles. Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but... Yeah. Okay, let's go with authority focus. we got to rule our lands first and foremost, you know. And... What else we got here? So, we did... We... Yep, we went ahead and got some knights. Oh, right, we've got children that need guardians. Got it. So, um... So will this help us? Oh, okay. So this will increase our bishop's opinion of our daughter, but not of us. Okay. So I guess we don't actually curry any favor by, um, by sending our daughter to be to you know to be someone's guard or have someone as her guardian. So I guess we're really more just looking for like who's gonna help her get some good traits here. Um. So we've got. Walter Giffard, greedy, patient, arrogant, flamboyant trickster, stubborn, sadistic, temperate, flamboyant trickster. Uh, not the worst. Just, arrogant, lustful, tough, reckless, gluttonous, sadistic, brave, thrifty. Vengeful, compassionate, fickle, insightful thinker. Daughter's diligent and generous. Um, and is good at diplomacy. So I like, actually, this is nice because diplomacy focus, patient, fickle, calm. Okay, I like this. That looks good. Let's go. Cool. And then we have one other child that needs education. So let's see. Bossy, cynical, greedy. Um. <coughs> greedy, lazy, deceitful. Okay, not great. Ambitious, calm, forgiving. Tough soldier, military engineer. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, we can create the Duchy of Calabria, but I'm guessing we don't have enough money to. Yeah, we don't. It's weird that it even shows up. And we have Count Abelard, but really like a council position. Well, the council's full. Sorry, dude. Oh, but he's good at marshalling. So if we want to get him on our side more than we want to get Count Joff. Man, our council is Robert, Roger, Joffrey, Joffrey. Joffroy. It's good. Um okay. Alright, let's go. Okay, we formed our alliance with our brother. County of Messina. That's nice. Let's check out our realm here. So we got our vassals here. And... Ah, we've got a knight. That's nice. Yeah, we have, let's see. Uh, Count Abelar does not like us. Mayor Jocelyn doesn't like us. Uh, we don't have enough money to get, send him a gift. 
Alright. This guy, though, is going to be a challenge. Oh, of Kamarda. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. This guy. Yeah, so there's, like, not a whole lot we can do here. Um, we could claim his title for ourselves. He would like us even less. Um... But, like, I mean, that would be... We wouldn't actually get his title. That we'd have to revoke. But I think we can't because... Um, oh, we lost some stress. We got additional taxes. That's great. Um, yeah, so we could go ahead and pass this thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. Now we can actually revoke revoke this guy's title. But yeah, but we um Yeah, we don't have a hook to do it with. Yeah, no, that's fine. We'll just leave him be, but um I mean, we could also scheme to murder him. Lots of options. Uh Oh, we can afford to send him a gift now. That's only nine opinion. Yeah, that's not great. Oh, also, wow, we gain a lot of stress when we send gifts because we're greedy. That's cool. Hmm. Uh, okay, so our vassals, we passed that thing. Our vassals actually didn't like that so much. Like Count Robert's going to neutral on us. He used to like us. Um, but let's just let's just roll with it. Oh, Commander promoted. My Marshal, Count Joffroy, which one? So many. Um, has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be of as noble stock as you, my uncle, but on my name I swear that Zenobois, someone you want by your side. Hmm. Okay. Very well. Zenobois shall serve me. Yeah, great. Love it. Um, uh, sinful Prince Archbishop exposed. Guy's far away. Nope. So we have a knight. That's nice. Um, let's see. See if I can um, show graphic diseases and injuries. Yeah, well, sure. Um, I was hoping would be that I could do action lock, but with, without a middle mouse button is a huge pain. So we'll just leave it on ten, mouse tendency. All right, what's new here? Hmm. He designated a guardian for, what is this, our son? Yeah, one of our sons. Okay, um, let's see. So we are looking for, what's our son good at? Um, rowdy, greedy, hunchbacked. Hmm. Um, okay. So maybe more of a intrigue type. Uh, uh, oh, our wife. She's greedy, lazy, deceitful. Yeah, right, okay. Um, Walter Giffard, greedy, patient, arrogant. Yeah, let's try this guy maybe. Cool. Um, okay, and then yeah, I think you know fabricating claim on Salerno does sound like a good idea. Let's go ahead and have our bishop do that. Oh, is there a county that's not uh, Catholic here? Oh, oh, it's some Orthodox happening here. Hmm. Hmm. 
well, we'll, we'll, we'll look into that eventually. Um, for now, I need you to fabricate the Salerno claim, if you would. Yes, there we go. Okay. My vassal Count Joffrey, but this, oh, this is the Joffrey that I just put on the council. Hmm. Whoa, uh-oh. Liberty Faction has a lot of power here. Uh. Okay. This guy. Um, and he is, I mean, both these people are on the council. They should be happy. Welcome, girl hack. What is that white dad land? White dad land? In the papacy? Papacy? Pope land? Um... Uh, let's see, so we want to see if we can deal with any, either of these guys. Um, Count Robert of Lanciano. What's up, Count Robert? Um, independence. Well, that would take care of him. Um, hmm. Age of marriage. Is, he's, is he... Yeah, he's not married, right? He's not married. Um, yeah, we could arrange a marriage between him. You know, the guy himself, is he not listed here? Oh, choose someone to marry off first, okay. Um, well, let's see, do we have anybody? We don't really have anybody um, important, that's the problem. Two. Him, how would that go? He would lose some some uh, prestige. She would gain some prestige. We'll accept, but will he? Will this like increase his opinion of us? That's my I don't know. I think it would have to be like him marrying one of my kids or something like that. Um. He would accept this, but like, but this is just like some random person in my court. It's not like this actually, I don't think he's even in my house, right? Like what, uh, what's my house? My house, yeah, my house is Houtville. Yeah, she's not even in my house. Like I, yeah. That's not, that doesn't really do us any good. like this faction. They've got a lot of power. Now, all they want to do is lower the crown authority, which is just, I mean, that's not the end of the world. That's the thing I just raised. So... Um... Oh, okay, so this guy's contributing way more to the faction. Yeah, we just need to get this guy on our good side here. Um, so we, I mean, well, nine... Nine probably wouldn't do it. Um... 
we need to do something to get this guy on our good side. I guess we could lower his taxes. Plus five. Lower his feudal levies, plus five. Grant him, we could grant him some rights with that. It's not gonna, it's not gonna increase his opinion at all though. Yeah, no, but this would. So we could lower his taxes uh, or his feudal levies and that would increase it by plus five. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to sway him away from this faction though. Imprison him instead here. Might succeed. Hmm. Oh, it's an act of tyranny, though. Yeah, well. Huh. Well, let's just see how this goes. I think it's very possible they're going to force me into. Uh. Oh. Interesting. Who's this? Duchess Matilda of Tuscany. Tuscany is taking uh, taking Sicily for a uh, ride here, huh? May your humors rot in your living body. Your occupation of lands which rightfully belong to me can no longer be tolerated. It is time that I see them return to my possession. Okay, so she wants the Duchy of Spoleto. Spoleto. Oh, I need to, I need to get some get my hands on some gelato. Uh, Duchy of Spoleto. She has more military strength than us, though. Wow, three times. Wait, no. Oh, no, no. It's her allies are 1,000. Okay, what do we have? We have 933. Yeah, we're going to lose this war by a lot. Um, uh, that's not, a, not good. Um, so... I don't really want to fight this war. Um, what does she want? She wants Spoleto. So white peace means nothing happens, but she's not going to accept that. Surrender. She'll gain the county of Lanciano. Um... County of Lanciano. Oh. Oh, that's this little thing up here? And it's held by the guy that's, uh... The guy that's plotting against us? I say we just let that go. I mean, yeah, this is the guy that, this is this guy. This is the guy we're having so much trouble with. I say we just let this go. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's all it's doing is empowering this guy that's, that's uh, causing problems. So I, yeah, I mean, I think we just, <laughs> cost us 20 prestige, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and yeah, I mean, let, yeah, it's just, I mean, we could wait, we could let them siege the, you know, city and stuff and maybe expend more resources, I guess, but I don't, I don't think it does us that much good to, yeah, I think we just surrender. Yeah, take it. Take it. There we go. So now I think, um, <laughs> I think if we go back to the factions, this guy, oh, I guess he is still, he's still the Count of Fo Fogia, but like he now has a lot less power because he doesn't have, he's only the Count of Fogia now. He's not the Count of Lanciano and Fogia or whatever. So, one would think that he would have less power. Well, we'll see. All right, well, 
they took Lanciano. Very short war, yeah. Yep. You know, we, we wanted to keep up the appearance of putting up some defense. Wanted to make them work for it by declaring war. We can declare a lot of wars. Um, cool. We got more knights coming in. That's fun. Can we hold a feast yet? Oh, convert to local culture. Truth be told, there's little separating my traditions from those of the people in my capital. We observe the same holidays, the same public feast, and our language has become almost the same. You adopt the Sicilian culture. Oh. Um, cool. Yeah, I like it. Let's go. Converted from Norman to Sicilian. I love it. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Search for a physician. Very important to have a court physician. That's that. We learned that last last game. Yep. Search for a physician for sure. Uh, actually, real quick. Let's double check that we don't already have someone who is real good at the physicianing, the physiquing. We sort by learning? No. Is there another thing we can do? Alright, well. Gaia is pretty good. 13. 17. Where's that? Oh. Thomas of Kent. Um, okay, let's search. Search for physician. Start the search. Okay, and then maybe host a feast. Cost 100 gold, which, you know, we only have 190, but feasts are almost always worth it. So, I'm gonna go yes. Because, remember, yeah, this, like, will make our vassals love us. The guests are gathered in the Great Hall. Lords and ladies from near and far, all uh, near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright, the spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Court physician. The world is full of dangers, even to a duke and his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they've assembled a few options to choose from. Bertold is quite experienced. Frey. Frey seems enthusiastic, but nothing else. Yes, we got Bertold. 11 learning. Rational Grasper is a physician. Nice. Learning plus 2. Disease resistance medium boost. And this other person is an eager reveler. <laughs> that was good. Okay, all right, great. We're told it is. Excellent. Feast disaster strikes. Oh, no. My lord, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. It's gone. It's all gone bad. Oh, this one, yeah. Uh, but I don't think... Oh, no, we don't... Oh, we just spent our money on the physician. We don't have enough money. Um... Do just get money real quick. I don't think so. Ah, it sucks. It's unfortunate. We lost the benefit of the feast there. Feast, a single night. I have, had been so insistent that this was exactly what I would not do. Yet after a few drinks, I fell so easily into the arms of Maria Guididi. Oh, Maria Guididi. My sister in law. Wow. Wow. Um, a noble woman from Salerno, trapped in her seductive web. Soon enough, I found myself in her bed. Her husband must not be allowed to know. Yeah, my brother. And that is without my <laughs> without mentioning my own wife. I must see you again. She becomes our lover. We gain stress. Uh, she gains opinion of us. Make the most of this moment. You gain blow off steam for five years. That looks good. And you lay with her. And let us never speak of this. Yeah, I like the let's make this most of this moment because we get this blow off steam plus one diplomacy rather than gaining stress okay great let's do that let's do that uh i'm proud to see my daughter no longer as a child but as an adult with sufficient tutelage every child even a child that has displayed little natural inclination toward diplomatic influence such as emma can come to truly understand it with an excellent grasp of all manners of etiquette and understanding of all kinds of entertainment and the eloquence to go with it 
she will have little trouble navigating life at court. All right, very good. Very good, she's come into her own here. Charismatic negotiator, cool. Okay, they grow up fast. All right, so now we can actually marry her off here to someone interesting. So, let's see, oh, Prince Laszlo of Hungary. Nice, Prince Lampert of Hungary. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because these are like alliance with some duchies, the Duchy of Transylvania, nice. And then these claims, you know, these are good claims. So, you know, if they have a kid, that kid's, well, the kid won't be of our dynasty though, so. Uh, although, unless we select a matrilineal marriage, but there's there's zero chance, yeah, the only way we do that is with like, these random people. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, um, so yeah, these princes, these princes of Hungary, so which one do you like better here? Let's see, Prince, La they have equal-ish, uh, advantages here. Um, this first guy's just more competent. Uh, diligent, just, arrogant, honest. Humble, lazy, gluttonous, zealous. Okay, I like this, this guy a little better. All right. She's gonna get a lot of prestige. She, their children are gonna be in a different dynasty, but that's fine. They'll be hanging out in Hungary anyway. And we'll get an alliance to Hungary, which is, oh, that's great, look at that. This is huge for us. Because remember, our military is not very good, 893. This guy's got over 2,000 military strength. So like, you know, this lady up here that's looking to keep, probably keep expanding here and just took Lanciano, she's not gonna mess with us anymore. Send that proposal off. That's great, that's very helpful. We also designate a guardian for our uh, for our kid here. Mm. Does he, have? he is good at intrigue. Feast, troubled brother. The pleading gaze I get from, I receive from my brother Roger is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner he has hid in all evening, and the walls are hindering his escape. The poor man has never been with me, has never been good with people. I would distract the converging guests, so he'll improve his opinion of us, which is useful. He's a count. And we get a weak hook, which is nice. Or we start developing a rivalry toward him. No, 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 we're not gonna develop a rivalry toward, rivalry toward our brother. Duke of Apul, or the, yeah, uh, the, um, the Prince Laszlo of Hungary is, has accepted our marriage proposal for our daughter, that's awesome. We now have an alliance. Feast is my guest department. With everyone headed for their respective homes, I'm proud to say the feast was a success. Have my wife, Seychelle Gaita, to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests off. Great. Uh, so yeah, all the guests are going to get an opinion of us, which is very good. And every guest is going to start endorsing us. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so now the question is, was that enough to uh, reduce these folks' interest in plotting against me? No, in fact, they have another person who's now joined them. It's not great. at all. Hoping the feast would make more of a difference than that. Okay, we can change Roger. We have a hook on Roger. I'd rather save that hook for other stuff, though. I don't think we need to use it to change his contract. Still create this duchy. We don't have money to...
Okay, now we have a peasant rabble as well. Hmm. That's not great. Can't really do much about that, as far as I understand. Um. All right. Well, just let it let it go. We'll see what happens. Uh, indiscretions. As Maria's belly grows, there can be no doubt she is with child. She has said nothing, but could this be the result of our recent dalliance? Okay. So yeah, this was the this is our sister-in-law. Uh, and uh, she's about to have our kid. Um, that's gonna be interesting. I must ask her about it myself. I might never know, but I will always wonder. Um, yeah, let's ask her. You became the culture head of Sicilian culture. Nice. My nephew, Count Joffrey, has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him. I could probably engage him in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for him to simply see me interact with my men. There is something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. Let us discuss methods of communication. He gained 50 martial lifestyle and he gains opinion of us. How's the, what does this guy think of us? Oh, this guy likes us. Should go greet some recruits. Holding a pulley gets respected figurehead. Uh, we don't really need to increase levy reinforcement rate. We haven't actually used the levies at all. So I'm going to say his opinion of us is more important here. Of course it is yours, Robert. <laughs> I worry that someone will have heard her, but we remain alone with the silence. Good it is too, for I suddenly have a lot to think about. Okay. So this is joyous news and must be shared. Oh boy. Uh, no, that's probably not a good idea. Um, yeah, a lot of people lose some opinion of us. Yeah, okay, let's not, let's not share that news. Let's not make a ton of sense. Advice, bastards. A bastard can be a blessing or a curse, but what does it really mean? Oops, seems you've got a bastard child. This can be a threat or an opportunity. Having bastard children is not all bad. They can be married away for alliances while not being a direct threat to your succession, as they're not considered legitimate. It might even be a good idea to keep a few bastard children around so they can be legitimized should you find yourself short of non-bastard children. However, remember to keep an eye on your opinion, the opinion your spouse has of you. If you want to have bastard children, we recommend that you use the seduction scheme on unmarried characters. If you seduce a married woman, her husband might think the child is his. If this happens, you can't legitimize the child. Okay, I mean, in this case, that's kind of what we're hoping for is that the husband thinks it's his because we don't really want to deal with this with our uh, brother. So... Wars or something going on over there. The Benevento Hills. Oh, oh no. Uh, the, our Maria Guididi. Um, oh no. She, she's no longer pregnant. All right, well, I guess that solves that problem. Ooh, increase opinion. Sway Count Robert. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I was kind of hoping we would make more progress on swaying uh, our bishop here, and we've not really made any progress. Although I guess, oh no, actually, well, no, he's now positive. Was he positive before? I forget. Um, so at least he endorses us. Um, yeah, Swain Count Robert does sound like a good idea. Is our Chancellor... Is he involved in the scheme? He is. Yeah, okay. I agree. Let's sway Robert. Cool. Sign him to support schemes. OK. 
Okay. Uh, did the Normans win in England? Um, let's see. Kingdom of England. Ruler. King Harold II. Um, he is... What is he? He is... Anglo-Saxon. Um, oh, well, there's something happening here. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't know what... I mean, this could be... Could be the Norman invasion here, but I don't know. I don't know when that happens. They're currently fighting. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yep. All right, we'll see what happens. You know, it's distant. We're fine over here in Italy. Um, yeah, we got a we got a good ally already, though. We're um, we got this. Uh, where, where do I see allies? It's here, I think. Uh, yeah. Got the yeah, King um, King Laszlo of Hungary. Look at this guy. Uh, oh wow! Oh, cause he became king. He was prince before, so he's married to our daughter, and he's now king of Hungary. That's awesome. So look at look at that. Forty two ninety. That's huge. No one's gonna attack us. Uh, yeah, strong. Very good alliance there. We picked the right prince, I guess. Um, <laughs> let's declare war on him. Uh, yeah, 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 very good. Okay, neighboring ruler lost the war, that's fine. We're still trying to fabricate this claim over here. Uh, let's see. Um, commander significantly improved. Robert Leblunt gained the trait logistician. Marshall's increased by one. Okay, cool. Is that Robert Leblunt? Okay, cool. Great. Well done. Um, Count Joffrey converted culture from Norman to Greek. Hmm. Greek, huh? We're, hmm. We were working on converting to Sicilian here. Now you're going Greek on me. Uh, let's see here. Um, where is March envelopment? Living off the land. Um. Yeah, movement speed sounds useful. Let's go for that for now. Oh yeah, should we develop some men at arms? Is that a thing? Yeah. Um, create men at arms regiment. Oh no, but we don't have. No, we need we need more money first before we go and investing in military stuff. Mostly, I think we just have to be content that we're not going to get attacked because of our alliance. Is Sicilian better than Norman culture? I mean. Probably a deep question. Uh, and certainly, I'm excited to be uh, eating lots of cured meats and drinking lots of wine. Oh, well, that's probably a part of both cultures, but. Powerful vassal demands. Is this a new one? Or is this the same? No, yeah, he's always been complaining. Okay. And then this is new. Designated guardian for Mabel. Hi, Mabel. Uh, Mabel. What's Mabel got going on? She's pretty good at stewardship already. Look at that. She's a six-year-old money manager. 
So, we got our wife here who is greedy. Well, money management. Um, well, let's see. Who has good stewardship here? Stewardship. William Gifford. Lostful, arrogant, content, and fortune builder. Yeah, I mean, I think I want to enhance the stewardship aspects here. And yeah, 15. That's pretty good. We could just take the good with the bad there. And, uh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, okay, so we're still, we really need to sway Count Robert. He's, would like him to be on our side here. Peasant Rabble's doing what it does. These guys are still scheming here. But, I mean, I'm hoping we can sway Count Robert, and then I think he's actually, oh no, he's not. Oh, this other guy's contributing the bulk of the, or no, oh, they're contributing about the same. Count Robert's contributing, contributing a little less, though. What research bonuses does Sicilian give over Norman? Well, I, yeah, I mean that—that that is that's one way to look at it. I think you know I like to. Um, uh, where is that? It's like somewhere. It's here, right? Yeah. I like to think of it more as what do I want to embrace culturally? Um, let's see, Sicilian innovations, household soldiers. Um, chronicle writing. So we already, yeah, we already have, we already have catapults. That's nice. Um, size of men armor is plus three. Eh, can recruit armored horsemen. Mm -hmm. Cool. Horseshoes, movement speed plus 10%. That sounds useful. Battlements, uh, unlocks early medieval era fortification buildings. That could be cool. Hereditary rule. Enact the partition law. No, don't necessarily want that. Tales be divided equally between your children. Yes, I don't, I don't want that. Chronicle writing. You can use individual du jour, duchy, casus belli. Spelli prestige cost minus 10%. Hmm. Um, royal prerogative. Can enact the high crown authority law. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I guess we're, we're currently focused on chronicle writing. We're the cultural head, so we could switch something else. 39 years, that's a long time. 329 years. Um, gavel kind, yeah, I mean, I, I think the, um, well actually, what is our current what is our current succession? Uh, where do we see that? Is that in our... Yeah. Confederate partition. Titles will be divided equally between your children. New titles may be created for younger heirs. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, the focus reduced. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, I mean, this seems okay. Okay. Um, this isn't necessarily, I mean, this seems fine. So we're gonna get a uh, 40% chance to gain 0.5 priors each month. Uh, 
versus researching this 41 years yeah royal prerogative would be 41 years the arch saddle would be 41 years man it takes a long time to figure these things out we can do horseshoes in 19 years that's not bad um yeah let's do let's look into these horseshoes for 19 years see what comes out the other end of that uh, let's see. Catholicism. Yep. Always always love the armed pilgrimages. Love them. Alright. Let's keep it going here. Accused of claim fabrication. Oh, yeah. Our ch court chaplain's not very good. So he... Ugh, he botched that. We're now minus 31 piety. It's not great. Um, does our wife have enough? No, she's only at five. Mm. Um, okay. Not great. And also, let's, oh yeah, okay, we're swinging Count Robert. That's cool. Let's keep that going. Oh, Count Robert converted to Sicilian. That's actually probably going to be good for our relationship with him. Yeah, he's now plus four because we're same culture. That's nice. Your neighbor, Basilius Constantinos, is lost. All right, that's fine. opinion. Oh, we should you say we should sway someone else because now Count Robert is like at least not actively against us. Um, yeah, I mean definitely Abelard is a bigger problem here because uh, he's minus 59. But we could also give him a seat on the council. But uh, oh, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, oh, okay, he did, wow, so he did pull through and get that, uh, get that fabricated Salerno claim. Um, we will go ahead and take advantage of that. It's going to take a lot of our money, though. Um, and, yeah, let's go ahead and switch our swaying. Switch the swaying, okay, and then let's also, uh, let's have him try and convert some more folks here to Catholicism. Let's start over here because I think it's going to be lower risk. These are yeah, we got a lot there. Um, yeah. Let's give that a shot. I wish he was better. Three learning. Terrible. Terrible. He doesn't even like us that much either. Go. nephew Jordan was slain during the Battle of Benevento. It's fine. Oh, you know, manipulation hook. Why is that? Why is, oh, because my spouse has really good intrigue. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Manipulates William Gifford. Well, he's just a knight, so... But... Um, that's... Right, whatever. I mean, maybe we could... Uh, maybe we could give him... Uh, a title once we, I mean, right now we don't have a ton of titles to give, but maybe one day, uh, we're, only, we're only two out of five. Wow, need more money. 
and more faith, and more prestige. We need more of everything. Designated guardian for area. Okay, area. Do intrigue looking all right? She's rowdy. Marshal and intrigue. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we? How we have? Who do we have that's intriguing? We have our wife. Her nephew. What about Marshall? Berthold. Oh, our physician. Oh, I like the idea of um, having her guardian be the court physician. Yeah, he's got all the good traits here, too. He's got some bad traits, but... Yeah, let's go. Maybe she can become a physician. Abelard converted too. Okay, that'll help. Count Roger converted. Nice. Everyone's converting to Sicilianism. That's awesome. Does that does that speed up our um our thing? No. Uh, but hopefully it makes them like us more. Plus eleven. See why are these people still in this faction? They like us. This guy's plus five. Oh no, plus five. No. Okay. Plus eleven. Yeah, I mean, these people... This guy still doesn't like us, but we're working on it. We're swaying him. We'll get him. We'll, we'll come around. He's Sicilian now. He's in the, in the Brotherhood. Ah, call to war. To the implacable... Implacable? 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 No. Duke Robert of Apulia, I call on your honor alliance to join me in the... Oh, boy. See, this is the flip side of this, which is like... Hungary is dealing with wars over there. The Hungarian claim on the Kingdom of Poland. Um, okay. Yeah, so we'll join him in the war of the Kingdom of Poland. I mean, we're not gonna... That's, that's like... Where is that? Way over here. Yeah. Like... I'm not gonna... I'm not going to send my troops way over here. <laughs> not going to happen. Also, this guy's got like... Three... Yeah, 3,700... Uh, military strength. So... I like how it says it's similar to ours. The reason it's similar to ours is because... It's counting our alliance with him. So it's... <laughs> Like, our, our own contribution is so insignificant. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I mean, great. We've got 900 troops that we could send. Uh, Alright, I mean, I'll accept, but I'm not... I don't think I'm going to do anything about it. Um... Yeah, especially because, well, maybe we'll send something. Uh, let's see, so, we were to, I, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to go over there myself, but I could, um, So yeah, I could send some folks over with my knights here. Let's see what we can gather here. 893. 
Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not gonna go myself. I don't want to be involved in going that far away. Um, so, yeah, and in fact, we don't actually provide that much more of an advantage here. Uh, so, let's go ahead and let, uh, yeah, let's let Count Robert lead this one. And then how do we double check that? How do we double check that we stay, we're, that we're staying home? That's the other thing. Uh, like, how do we know? What are we doing? We are. Located in Apulia. It doesn't say what we're doing in Apulia. Yeah. Well, alright, let's just let's just give it a shot here. So if we were to go and travel to Hungary. Let's see. So is it do does it say we let those folks go into the water there? Oh, uh oh. Oh, our niece and nephews are Wow, oh, lots happening here. Lots ha lots happening. Whoa, whoa. Okay, the practice makes people in southern Italy and Sicily has given rise to unique culture. Yes, uh, Sicilian, great. Yeah, we keep we keep converting folks to Sicilian, which is awesome. I think that'll affect how I hope that'll affect how people can get to learn about horseshoes. Oh no! Oh, Salerno's attacking. Wow, they saw we went over and they they saw the uh, the foreign war start up and then all right, all right, turn the troops around. Turn the troops around. Uh, wow. I mean, they just like... They're like, hey... Uh, I mean, as soon as we were gone for that war, they were... Uh, they were all over us. Alright, let's... Bring her back here. Bring her back. Challenge. I am sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat beating on my forehead when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Look over my soldier, I spot my knight Xenobois, eyeing me with while nonchalantly swinging his sword back and forth. My Duke Xenobois' wards boom across the courtyard. Would you not prefer to test your skills against me instead? Challenge accepted. We have a 35% chance of winning, 65% chance of being wounded. Not great. Uh, 75 prestige is a lot to lose, though. We only have 345 total. Um. I don't want to get wounded though, and yeah, we have a 65% chance of losing 150. So I'm gonna say I would rather not. Um, okay, we're we successfully beat them. Let's now head to. Uh, let's now head to Salerno. And go ahead and start the siege here. This war is. Quickly moving in our favor here. It's like, great, you know, well, well done Salerno. Uh, I now control Salerno, look at that. <laughs> Worst war they ever, uh... <laughs> Worst war they ever declared. Um, yes, uh, set over conversion, that's not great. Yeah, I knew he would bungle the conversion just like he bungled everything else. Okay, um, let's enforce demands. What do we want? We want, um, I keep the contested county. Yes, and he's got to pass war reparations. Yes. 
Love it. <laughs> wow. They lost that war hard. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's that's pretty fantastic. All right, we're prisoner here. We do need money, so ransoming would be good. Um, okay, and we now have Salerno. I think do we have Salerno. Let's see. Um, address my bishop again. Hmm. Um, okay, so do, do we have Solera or do we not have Solera? Let's see. County of Solerno. Prince Gisolf. Okay, no, we don't, we don't, we do not have, we do not own Solerno, I think. Oh, he's considering a proposal from us, so I think we have to wait a second. There we go. Oh no, that's oh that's the ransom offer. Never mind. Um, ransom. Sure. Can't hurt. Great. Keep ransoming people. So here's the thing. I think can we can we declare war on him again? No, we don't know what cost this bell. Oh, oh, our armies are raised. Ah, right. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, right. Our armies are... Um... Oh, they need to be in a friendly area. That's right. Okay. Alright, so that is a limitation. Call to war. Uh, man, these Hungarians... Oh, Count Roger. Different. Wants to fight this guy. In the Holy War. Alright, sure. Yeah, let's just get in all the wars. Okay, so let's disband our army, I think. And then let's... Oh, let us take 53 days to return home. Uh, wait, why is that? Oh, because we're still at war with other people, I think? Yeah. Okay, well, we could... Um... Well, we can go help these folks out. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It's closer anyway. And they're winning. So. Yeah, the Holy War. Love it. Let's hope we get some, uh, some religious points for helping out with this. Gotta get this this should get our bishop on our side, right? We're fighting a holy war. It's huge. Oh, good, we swayed Abelard. That's nice. Let's keep it going. Took a prisoner here. Ransom. Gold, yep. Good, good. Um, okay, are there other, other stuff we need to do here? Seems like we're, oh, can we enforce demands here? Will not accept, base reluctance. On all the battles. Hmm. 
Maybe this is because we're not the... We're not in charge of this war. We just signed on here. I mean, there isn't really anything else we can do here, right? Like... We won the war. There it is. Okay. Very good. Very good. Count Rodra Messina. Uh, share 100. Gain some devotion. That's good. Uh, I don't know how that relates to... Oh, level of devotion. Dutiful. Ah, cool. Okay. And... We contributed some. Look at that. And he, that count loves us now. Very cool. Okay. Um, two months to return home. Well, that's not that bad. Uh, oh, also, we now have this. This is now ours. Cool. Because um, that was our, our vassal that was... Uh, that was fighting the good fight there. That's cool. So that was, who was that? That was Count Roger, who is now very powerful. Very, very powerful, dangerously powerful, but he likes us a lot. So that's probably fine. But yeah, he's he's got, yeah, four counties. Jeez. Oh, hey, Caps. Um, yeah, quite a bit there. Quite a bit. We have a hook on him. Love it. Um, hmm, okay. All right, so let's see. Maybe we should go help out with this other war. Now, now that we've settled things at home, or... We can declare war on Salerno, but we can't do that when we have our levies raised. So we gotta, okay, let's disband. I think we need to take care of the Salerno situation. Let's go ahead and disband. Let's wait the two months for those armies to. Duke Otto of Bavaria has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Walden Zionism. Okay. Um. We'll let that we'll let that appear. Um, and just waiting a couple months for these armies to get back to normal here. And then Oh no, rulers and bit bracing heresy. Okay, now let's raise these levies again. Great. Oh, whoops, damn it. No, I disband uh, <laughs> him, raise him, disband him, raise him, disband him. Um, I uh, I didn't realize I need to declare war before I raise them. Local commoners are moving to Kamarda, the capital. My nephew Count Abelard. Um, oh, this is the guy we're trying to sway. That's right. Um, yeah, let's let's spend a little gold to help sway him. Mercy for the mercenaries. The bustling of an inn. A fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of training. Uh, my tankard is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow, and all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Anarea's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days, and they're fighting scaring staff and guests. I will pay for your drinks if you leave at once. 75. Oh, cool. Mercenary higher cost minus 10%. That's awesome. 13 stress that we can deal with that. Uh, popular opinion plus 20. Yeah, now let's do this. Yeah, mercenaries being 10% cheaper. That's that's quite nice. Oh no, <laughs> our bishop uh, is no longer able to convert faith. Uh, and the peasants are revolting. Okay. 
Um, yeah, we can put the peasants down. That's going to be fine. All right. We're going to deal with that before we deal with this other Salerno war, though. Um, although maybe we want to just declare both at once because uh, the peasants are not going to be a problem. Uh, it's real quick. Real quick Salerno war here. Um... Oh, cool, no cost. Uh, great. Um, and why can't we declare war? Interaction is no longer valid to send. Oh. We can't use her claims anymore? Hmm. Okay, well, let's use ours. Um, and go ahead and declare war. Got all sorts of stuff going on, but if we're hey, if we're gonna raise our armies. We're gonna we're gonna use them. So, uh, yes. Um, okay. First things first, which is we need to uh, we need to put down this peasant revolt over here. We're gonna do that now. We might intersect with his army along the way. We'll see. Oh wow. Uh, uh, Palerno is uh, is uh, surging again too. Man, we are wars on wars on all fronts here. Let's, okay, peasants first. Knock them out. Done and done. Okay, we took Luigi hostage there. Uh, peasant faction is disbanded. Okay, so we're gonna go there. Uh, now I think we want to destroy these folks, or these folks. Oh no, those are, this is someone else. Don't need to worry about them. Um, okay. It's like, yep, yep. What do you want, dude? Chase you down. Uh, wow. This guy keeps, just really wants Palerno, man. Really wants Palerno. It's fine, we'll take Salerno, he can fight over Palerno. So many things happening. Um, are we gonna ransom the peasant? Who's gonna pay for, who's gonna pay for the peasant? We execute him. Torture him. Spend some piety to do that. Uh, I don't have any piety. Uh, they know him criminal. We gain chill dread. Burn the stake. Yes. Yeah, we'll go and execute him. Uh, okay. And then this siege. Five months. They're also sieging our thing. Six months. We should go back and we should go back and fix that. We really need to catch their army here. To my liege, it's time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of your vassals. Oh, so yeah, this is the this is that faction that's been building for a while. Um, yeah, and that's fine. Uh, I'm okay going back to the autonomous vassals. Two hundred prestige, though. Wow, that's a lot. I will not be threatened. They start a war. Well, how much military do they have? Um, 124 percent. Three members. Yeah, see, these folks are rather powerful. Um, I don't think I want another war here. Um, okay. 200 prestige is a whole lot, though, but, um... Okay, let's do it. We yeah, we just can't we can't deal with that many wars right now. Okay, well we cleared that siege. The problem is these troops are hard to catch. We've got them cornered now. There we go. Yep, got them. Nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and get Salerno. Oh, yep, so there's the... Wow, that's a hell of an army there. 
That's not great. You may need to hire some mercenaries. Um, uh. Oh, I can call on my ally, King Laszlo. Yes. Oh, spend 350 prestige to do so. Well, we, we are not going to be able to do that. Not have that much prestige. <laughs> um, yes, it does sound like a Warcraft 3 song, or it did. Um, uh, let's see. So I need. I think I do need some mercenaries here. Which. Knights, two soldiers. Vantage and forest. And these are more hills, I think. Yeah. Nope, oh, there's some forest there. Farmlands. Um, Eleven. Holy Warrior. Ooh, Faith Hostility Advantage. That'd be nice, because these are definitely a different faith here. Um, that's nice. Organizer. Yeah, okay, I like this guy. Higher. That used all of our money. But hey, we got a little back from Ransom that guy. But yeah, we need... we. We needed to do that because this army is on its way. Yep, see? Ooh, get in there. Get in there, mercenaries. Woo! Oh, that was close. That was close. Wow. <laughs> Yikes. All right, let's go to those armies. Uh, why does Robert, the largest duke, not simply eat the other two? <laughs> um... Hey, we captured a dude here. Uh, cannot ransom him. Negotiate release. And demand conversion. <laughs> That's funny. Uh... That's funny. Let's do that. Let's do <laughs> demand conversion. That's really funny. Uh, okay, so we're still working on taking Salerno here. See you, Maznin, the new Catholic. Okay, we also need to take back Palerno, but let's finish the siege first here. Oh, nice. Oh boy, we got a ship rolling in here, huh? Um, uh, ooh, foreign ruler. Oh no, that's the right now. Uh, ooh, we have his prince. <gasps> we have his prince. We can execute him. They're not gonna like me if I do that. We could. Negotiate relief. We could also demand his conversion. Is it possible to force the Pope to convert out of Catholicism? I think so. If you if you somehow manage to imprison him, my guess is yes. Uh, um, let's see. So yeah, probably ransoming this guy. Um. Feel 
50, yeah, so 46 gold. That's pretty good. Yeah, we really need gold right now, so that is probably the way to do that. Okay, we're so close on the siege. Come on, 987654. Yes, okay, we got it. We won the siege. Okay, now we can resolve this war, thankfully. There we go. Very good. We now have Salerno. That's really great. Uh, we now want to immediately grab any additional... I guess we already have. Do we have all the armies of... I guess Salerno... We kind of killed all Salerno's troops, so... I guess there's not much there. Okay, we now need to go rescue our... Uh, our capital here. So, let's go do that. Oh, whoops, not there. Here. There we go. There we go. Nice. Your glory is widely known. Um, okay, we just had... Really? These folks are declaring war on me? Everyone's declaring war on me. Um, wow. Okay. Um, well, that should not be a problem, though. It's, it's just like, let's go. It's like, all right, dude. Yeah. What? What? I mean, what were you expecting here? Oh boy. Okay, hold on. We are probably going to have to abandon this siege because uh, uh, we are about to get attacked here. This way, the good count. Uh, while hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my nephew, Count Abelard, in good light have presented themselves. Um, yes. Uh, 75. Oof. Getting very low on uh, prestige. 75 prestige. For him to be plus 10 opinion. What is he these days? He is plus 12. Yeah. Or we could gain 75 prestige. I mean, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna gain my own prestige because I'm really low on prestige right now. Need to make contact with his army here. There we go. Do it. Yep. With his coming of age, my tutelage of Bohemon is at an end. For the longest time, I was hoping that, his, that good tutelage would be enough to teach Bohemon the intricacies of diplomacy. All, that, all efforts have come to naught, however. Few at court would be overly impressed by his grasp of etiquette, but at least he does know how to hold his own in polite company. Okay, well. Ah, uh, well. Okay, lots going on here. Victory. Victory. Heir unmarried. That's our heir. Yeah, the guy that just failed to learn how to be diplomatic. Um, and there's not really... Not really much out there right now. So we'll just kind of wait on that. Okay, um, so we have this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go free that fort there, man. We are getting just attacked from all sides right now. We're effectively defending ourselves, though. So, all right, that battle went well. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and. Oh no, Joffrey died. Oh, we just gotten him on our side. <laughs> Um, our chaplain is so bad. Our chaplain is just like should not should not be a chaplain. Okay, all right. Our marshal. Oh, that's too bad. He was a very good marshal. Uh, ooh, but this guy's better. Twenty-two. Nice. Or Count Roger. Well, Roger loves us, so there's not there's no reason to. And he's already the steward, so we're good there. Okay, yeah, let's let's uh, let's bring this mayor in here. He's very good. Um, and then let's 
double check. Do we have, yeah, I think we have more armies we could raise here. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and attack that with that. And we now have a home front army here too, which is nice. Because uh, we can use this to start to try and work back to uh, getting Palermo back. So, oh, or try and get uh, Argentino. Um, yeah, either way. But let's see how it goes. Okay, want to make some good progress in that siege. Who did we capture? Important? No. Loses 10 dread. No, we don't want that. Is he good? Oh, yeah, he's pretty good. Let's recruit him. Okay. Spouse's skills. They're increasing. That's cool. Oh, nice. Okay, we captured a someone useful here. Ransom for 50. Yes, that would be good. Our nephew was slain. That's fine. Greetings. I have no choice but accept your conditions in my release. Yep, that's what I figured. Yeah, we're good. Okay, how's the siege going here? Four months left. All right. Is this, which one is this that's... Oh, so Hungary... Hmm. Hungary's not doing so hot over there. Okay. To make my nephew Count Abelard more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment on my next visit to his court. Loyalty and sense of humor. Giving nature... Handsome appearance, or short and professional. Okay, let's see. So he, what does he do? He's like, skilled tactician, aggressive attacker, flexible leader, trusting, impatient, just. Uh, so I'm thinking probably, uh, thinking handsome appearance maybe. How well it suits him. Um, you know, a rational paragon. Um, yeah, so probably not loyalty. Say handsome appearance. We'll see. Uh, oh, great. You liked it. Excellent. Well, that helped a lot. Okay. Hey, we won the siege over here. Okay, very good. We can now enforce our demands. Um, and keep the contested county. Excellent. Okay, good. Um, slaughter it, Foggia. Yep. We did it. Um, low county control over there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to want to send our, um, marshal to increase control over there. And, um, let's see. Oh, and you know what? Let's try and sway this useless bishop again. Um, okay. Let's now take these troops who are no longer needed up here. And um, let's bring them down here. Help with that. Oh, incoming. 
Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Actually, get him in, get him in here ASAP. Come on, no. There we go. Uh, call to war to the implacable Duke Robert Puglia calling an army peasant uprising. King Laszlo of Hungary wants our help with a peasant uprising. Wow. Okay. It's a little bit, a little bit weak on Hungary's part. I feel like they can deal with their own peasant uprising. <laughs> Tilda comes of age. Okay. Okay, siege one there. And we're close here, aren't we? Um, close, all right. Oh, that's about to get attacked. Um, Well, let's just go ahead and take this. Oh, they're making some progress over here. Hmm, maybe we should... Maybe we should return, unless we have other folks we can... No. Hire more mercenaries. Uh... Yeah, or we could we could split this, bring half of them back, or we could just bring them all back. How quickly can they get back here? Well, let's go ahead and split this. Okay, so these people leave enough soldiers in this army to continue the siege. That's nice. Oh, that's very handy. Okay, good, and then. So now we actually have two here. And they're besieging. And these guys are gonna come back home. Nice. Oops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Greetings. Seems my dealings with Count Abelard may have accidentally made certain promises uh, of exemptions from his obligations. Uh, Count Abelard's fuel taxes to you are reduced. Oh, no, that's not bad. Or that's good. Or yeah, Count Abelard gains a weak hook. No, we don't want that. Don't want anyone to have a hook on us? All right. Well, that. Let's see here. These folks are screwed over here. Oh, that's the peasant uprising. That's a random other peasant uprising. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. That's not gonna be good. Oh, actually. Wow. Wow. Well done, folks. Wow, we did well there. Maintain that siege. Very nice. Very nice. Force demands. Okay. Whew. Wow. All right. Ten gold. That's not worth it.
fan conversion. Convert this kid to Catholicism. I like it. Let's do that. Um, uh, okay. Oh no. Mayor was slain. Counselor died. Oh no. We need a new marshal. We always need a new marshal. Almost as if they go off to war and, you know. Okay, um, let's see here. Avalard wouldn't be bad, and that would increase his opinion by uh, of us by a lot. Sixteen. Yeah, all right, let's do Avalard. Wow, yeah, that increased it by a ton, plus 94. Whew. My brother died. Hmm. Okay, so some things we need to do here um, are um, we need to. What do we have? There's a peasant uprising. In Hungary. Okay. There's a holy war for County Palermo. Yeah, I thought we were. Wow, there are multiple holy wars for the County of Palermo? Yikes. Okay, so what can we. What else can we do to win this? Um. Oh, Tripolitana. Alright, well, let's give it a shot. So let's merge those armies. And let's head on down to Tripolitana, shall we? Okay, lots going on. Air is unmarried. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Mercenary company contract expiring. That's fine. I don't think there's that many of them alive le uh, left alive anyway. Battles. Definitely need to marry off our son. Oof. Oh boy. What's happened to our son here? Severely injured. Hmm. Okay. Not great. Uh, oh, Aragon. I like that. Inherit lover's pox. Got a venereal disease. Huh. Well, that's not going to be good. I do have a court physician, yes. Uh, uh, where's that? Here. Bertold. He's great. He's helped me out with some jams. Uh, let's see. Alexia Polkarios. It's weird she doesn't give us an alliance. It just gives us claims. Oh wow, we've got a lot of prisoners. Ransom. Ransom. Uh, ransom. Ransom. That should give us a lot of money. <laughs> um Designate a guardian for Roger. Oh, right, because that other guardian died. Okay, what is he into? He 
Yeah, let's find someone who's got good martial skills. Oh, our court physician does. Okay. Um. Okay, let's continue the siege here. We won the war against Georgie. Excellent. Our, yeah, we did not contribute much. So. Lots of ransomings. Uh, okay. We want to win this holy war. Okay. Bob, our, our, our kid died. Um, very dead. Very dead. We're going to gain some stress over that. It's okay. Our stress is not too bad. Um, and... Who is our... Man, we just keep getting people we can ransom here. Get a lot, a lot of money from that. Okay, so our new heir is... Roger... De Hauteville, our son. Okay, we yeah, we got we got lots of sons. We're fine. Okay, he's also unmarried. He's only fifteen. Um. So we'll give him a little time there. Who is he? Is he uh? Is he? Is, yeah, who's his guardian? Oh, he's the hunchback guy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll see how that goes. Okay, additional taxes. Uh, lost 35 stress. Nice. Um, okay, and yeah, you know, we keep getting so much money from these uh, from these ransoms. It's real good. for the chiefdom of Jafara. Okay. This guy. Sure, yeah, he doesn't have much military. Where is he? Oh, I'm already, yeah, I'm already, like, about to capture one of his cities, so sure. Let's, let's just pile it on here. Counts for this though. Oh no, the mercenary company went away. Now, it, oh no, no, <laughs> I didn't realize they were that large of a portion of the of the troops I have here. Uh, okay, I need to retreat. Um, I, although we've got allies coming in, that's a neutral army. Um. decisively um, in seven days. Okay, well, let's... Yeah, so let's actually retreat back to uh, the Messina there. Yeah. Um, okay, and then let's go ahead and uh, hire more mercenaries. we got tons of money now, so... Military, rally points, add one there. And... How many troops do we have? Ton. Uh, okay, and let's look at mercenaries. If 
I like those folks that were really good at Holy Wars. Um, here we go. Holy Warrior. Only two Marshall, though. Not very good. Serbian band of Nasus. Organize yeah, this is these dudes. Yep. Love it. Alright. Oh, oops. Didn't really want them over there though. Far from home, a stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside my castle gates for a week. My liege, my guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Yakov, your highness. I've traveled far and wide and seen many things, but I'm weary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of you. Sure. Stick around, Yar Yakov. You are welcome here. Okay, let's merge these all together. Oh, our bishop is finally endorsing us. Yes. Great. Okay. Okay, I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. Uh, with sufficient tutelage. Um, uh, now it's hard to say, however, everything ta is tasked to him is done by others before he gets to it, and he never tells petty lies the way he used to. Perhaps he was not as clever as he seemed after all. Hmm. Elusive shadow. Okay. Not amazing. What's happening here? Okay, we got that. Nice. Let's go ahead and do this now. Oh yeah, no problem there. Very nice battle there. Oops, okay, and I think we can go ahead and conclude this war. And what about this war? No, not this one yet, okay. Still working on that one. You are known for your dedication to your faith. Yeah, hell yeah, because I'm fighting all these holy wars, like, constantly. Um, okay. Yes, we won that other holy war, too. Very good. We contributed 67% of the war, so that's awesome. All right, that was great. That all worked out really well for us. Okay, so there's only one war left. Lots of, been through quite a bit here. Um, and <laughs> this guy jumped in at the last minute here. Um, uh, okay, so we've got the Hungarian claim on the Kingdom of Poland. <laughs> no, so let's go assailing. Um, So, let's see. Well, first, let's go back home here to drop me off. Oh, good. Ooh. Okay. And then we're going to try and win this one last war. 
so uh, let's swap out the commander for um, yeah for let's sure let's have it be uh, reckless like that cautious leader I like that oh I like this guy even more though because the faith has to oh no right we're not fighting holy war anymore all right so count Robert let's have him lead that and then we are hopefully no longer in it. Yep, very good. And then we will go ahead and have these folks help out with this. That's a long journey. Hmm. Our niece was imprisoned. They keep doing that. They keep imprisoning our nieces. Guy comes of age. Who's Guy? Must be one of my kids. Rational adventurer. He's brave. Okay. I like it. Oh, my hook on Roger expired. Well, that's fine. He really likes us, so shouldn't need to use it anyway. Um, okay. So what? Are, ooh, Princess Lanka of Hungary is an option now. Uh, let's see. So, could we marry our heir to Lanka? We could. Okay. Um, I like that. So, I like that a lot. Um, yes. Uh, yes, let's do that. Further our Hungarian connections here. Um, very good. All right, we're just deeply, we're all in on, on the, on Hungary here. And, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, help out with the war effort. Yeah, this war's going well, too. The, uh, Hungarian claim on Kingdom of Poland. So, like, you know, this may, like, Hungary may be actually be Hungary and Poland soon, like, be huge huge ally okay so what can we what can we do here um like what's uh what's left here this looks not sure exactly why i mean this makes it look like this can be sieged but I, it Doesn't seem like it. Hey, there's our chance to win a battle. Nice. Oh, there's our chance to lose a battle. Let's stay away from that, shall we? Oh, well, hmm. they're retreating. Um, Got to be prepared to retreat here if anyone else comes into the picture. Anyone big. See, there's, our allies are doing good work there. And I think we're going to be able to get this seed. It'd be nice. It'd be a good victory for us. In fact, that might even tip it. We're at 93% victory right now. Mabel comes of age. Man, all our kids are coming of age. Um, okay, great. We should just do a marrying spree pretty soon here, but let's let's get this first. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Empty. Oh no, Abelard. Ah, Abelard died. Oh, <laughs> but just before he died, he finished the. Finished gaining control of the county of Kamart, I think, or it may just be because he died and it's abandoned. Uh, so, okay, that's not great. Who do we have here? Um, uh, with high martial skill, uh, we have Daoud. Is not particularly important. We have Count Roger, who is currently the steward. Do we have someone else who would be a better steward? We do. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's reassign Roger to Marshall, and then let's assign our vassal. Yeah, Count Robert to Stewart. There we go. And now he likes us again. Okay. Now what we want to make sure is that we look for. So where do we need control? We need control. Lermo. Lermo's got big control problems. Um, I think is that that's what that means, right? Yeah. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Let's send him to Palermo. Okay. And then we want our bishop is useless. So we just want him doing the least impactful thing possible. Um, oh, yeah, let's have him promote culture. That's nice, yeah. And domestic affairs versus foreign affairs. Yeah, domestic affairs for sure. Support schemes. We're still trying to sway the bishop, which we're pretty successful at. Okay, and we're just about to win this this war for Poland here, so that's exciting. Um, very close. That not. That is siegeable. All right. Man, what a war. This has been quite the thing. Uh, oh, mercenary contract expiring. This, this, these troops are about to get a lot less powerful. <laughs> we could extend it, but I'm not sure it's worth the money, given this war is almost over. Um, oh, that'll help, actually. Duchy of Calabria. Um, yeah. 250? Yes, let's do that. Um, ransom some more prisoners. Get some more money here. Love it. Can't hurt. Um, ooh, Kingdom of Sicily! create the kingdom of Sicily that's huge we need 500 gold to do it we don't have that yet but that's awesome okay that's gonna be great nice very close oh and get an alliance with Robert I like it and let's go oh this war is basically over uh Okay. Yeah, I mean this war is yeah, we can't do it, but they they will make peace soon. They have to. Um It's at hundred percent, so I assume this war is gonna be over real quick. Yeah, there it is. Okay, did we contribute enough? Ooh, we did. Oh, we contributed quite a bit. Oh, King Lazo loves us now. Well, we just helped him capture Poland, so uh, that's awesome. Okay, very cool. Um, wow. So he's now, he now owns Poland. That's cool. Um, and he's also our ally. And he's now super badass. That's awesome. No one's gonna mess with us. That's really great. Oh, more wars? What? Ah, <sighs> this is him again. What's he doing now? What does he want to do now? County of Gorlitz. Duke Otto of Meissen. Where's that? Let's see. What is he looking to do now? Where is he? Oh. Oh, he's expanding into the Holy Roman Empire now, huh? I mean, sure. Our troops are already over there, so we might as well. Um... I 
guess let's just go ahead and yeah, try and capture one of these. Oh, but those mercenaries are about to disband. <laughs> well, whatever. It's probably still going to be enough to hold a siege. And these folks are going to defeat them, so. Administration fails. Oh, it's too bad. Um, nice. Yeah, there goes the mercenary company. Still decent, though. Um, we still got 819 troops here. Not bad. Um, it's enough to siege, for sure. We'll get some credit for that. These folks are coming toward us here. but uh, And they have more people, but I think our people are more experienced, so we should be okay. We're going to win this siege here. Yep, got it. Nice, nice. See, oh, that was uh, that was um, uh, Vienna that we just sieged. That's nice. Uh, ransom. Yeah, we. Our number one source of income is ransoms. It's great. Uh, oh no, they're losing this war though. Uh, well, here, let's continue to siege. Area comes of age. Oh, that's right. We need to, um, we need to, uh, marry off a ton of our, uh, ton of our folks. Um, but actually, let's wait until we're a king to do that, because that will increase our prospects of marrying them successfully. Yeah, four family members to marry. Okay. That's fine. We're close. We're close. We just gotta get over 500 gold. And then we will... Uh... Oh, good. We're now winning the war. That's nice. Oh, we're doing great at the siege, too. Real nice. Done. Sieged. 510. Ooh. I want a little bit more margin, just, I want to get to like 550 or something, just so, uh, okay, let's continue, just continue taking various parts of Austria here. Um, we're doing a lot of work in this war here. Oh, yes. Strategist. Nice. Fantastic. Unlocked. Oh, our daughter is about to leave court. Oh, well, here, let's let's find her a spouse. Uh, Duke of Barcelona. Or another dude in Barcelona. Who has a lot of claims? Um, no, I think let's, let's marry her to the Duke of Barcelona. Yes. Great. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. I mean, maybe we should go ahead and marry some more of our kids off. Anyway, I was waiting to create that kingdom, but. Uh, let's see. Who's our... So we got, yeah, like a 21-year-old daughter, 17-year-old daughter. Okay, let's go ahead and marry the 21-year-old daughter off here. To Ordolafo Faliero of Fermo. Count. Count. Somewhere in France, I guess. Or and let's hold on Mabel for a bit until we're king. Oh, what's happening? More wars? More wars? Duke Ramon of Barcelona. Oh, well, we just, uh, right, because we, we just married our daughter to this guy, uh, or to this guy's, someone in this guy's. 
uh, family. Um, Barcelona, Claremont County, Vizcaya. Uh, I don't think I want to get involved in this right now. I'm fighting a war in Hungary, so I'm going to decline that for now. Sorry, dude. All my troops are over in Hungary, so... Sieging, gradually taking all of uh, all of Austria here. Extra hand for all the authority. I suppose the wheel is a duke. I cannot be everywhere in my home at once. There will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my attention is turned elsewhere. This is where my knight Joffrey could come in. He has been faithfully enforcing my decrees while touring the countryside. Could he serve as my right-hand man and take a more active role in administering my realm? Oh, that's cool. My brother Count Roger can handle these problems. Uh, they're both cool. Um, so we have Je Jeffrey and we have Roger. Jeffrey doesn't like us very much. Oh, but Jeffrey's just a knight. He doesn't actually have any land, whereas Roger has, like, a ton of land. Super powerful. I think we need to take Roger. Oh, wow. That's a lot of prestige. 350? Um, okay, sure. Let's have Joffrey help us out. Ah, good. Okay, we've, we've continued to effectively sway our bishop here, so I think we can probably focus on someone else. Um, so, our court... Oh, we got a lot of prisoners. Uh, these are folks that can't ran can't be ransomed, probably mostly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, this guy though. No. Um. Well, let's take all these folks who are of a different religion and negotiate a release where they convert to Catholicism. Just so many conversions here. They're already Catholics. Ah, perfect. Okay, uh, and then the other thing I wanted to do was look at my realm and my vassals here and who doesn't like me, if anybody. Mayor Jocelyn is probably the closest. Oh, you know what? We want to actually probably... Where's the Pope? Uh, there we go. Yeah, let's go sway the Pope. Gotta sway the Pope. converting so many people here. Look at this. Should tell the Pope about this while we're swaying him. Uh, okay, I think we should create the King of Sicily now. Here we go. Sicily. Create the Kingdom of Sicily. Let's go. We are now a king. We did it. <laughs> nice. Uh, and I can also create the Duchess of Salerno, but I don't have enough money to do that yet. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I should invite some knights. Attempt suicide. Wow, no. Um, yeah, let's get some knights in. Claimants. Uh, 
Hmm. Oh, that's a cool way to expand, actually. Right. Um, hmm. 750. That's a lot of prestige. Um, okay, and then I do want to host a feast soon, but I don't have enough money yet. So. Uh, let's hope for more um, more prisoners that we can ransom. Okay, wow, this has gotten more complicated. Hungry, though. Hungry is is taken over. Ooh, got some achievements. Got an achievement. Increase your rank, moving up in the world. All right. Siege one. These knights are showing up. Nice. Let's just keep sieging all these cities here. Helping out the war. Ugh, man, our chaplain is so bad. through it here. Look at all these look at all this territory we're controlling right now. We won the war. There it is. Nice. What was our share? Um Oh yeah, huge. Huge contribution. King Laszlo loves us. Still, and 300 prestige. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and disband our armies, finally. Whew. Okay. That was quite the saga of wars. So much going on there. So much going on. Okay. What about this Argentino thing? It's like... Ah, we can declare war on this dude. Aha! Oh, so many reasons to declare war on this dude. Wow, look at this. Um... Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Uh, let's raise this all here. Okay. circling around to attack there, so we're going to need to... Let's uh, go ahead and leave what we need to keep conducting the siege, and then let's take the other folks and bring them home here, because we are about to, to defend this. Oh, wow. They are bringing in lots of folks. Hold on. Uh, oh, I don't. Hmm. Wow. They really. Uh, they really called some allies there. Well, let's hope we're more experienced. Ooh. Don't like this. Don't like this at all. Um. Let me still retreat here. Let's hope. No. Got. Okay, that did not work out well. Okay, that's gonna be bad. Uh, let's see if we can call in some allies here. Ally, call allies to the war. Like, Hungary, baby. They love us over there in Hungary. Let's hope they send lots of troops. <laughs> of course I shall join you in this war. Hungary's got like a lot of a lot of war power. All right, look at this guy. Look at this guy. 6500. Let's go. Come on, Hungary. Come on. Yes. 
6,500 troops. Let's go. Let's go. You need to get here quick, though, because uh, it's real bad down here. Uh, okay, spread of Sicilian culture. Nice. That's you know, it's nice to nice to have that happening on the side. Oh wow. Oh, did we just immediately win? <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Hungary gets involved and we win. That's really great. <laughs> awesome. That's really, really good. We lost every battle of that war and we still won because Hungary, uh, Hungary joined. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's so great. Oh no, our court physician was captured. Oh no. Uh, it's not good. How do we get him back? Okay, low county control in Apulia. Sure, yeah, let's go. Um, oh no, we're still in progress in the county control over here, so. Hold on. Okay, guy to Hauntville, our son. Oh, look at this guy. Awesome. Find a spouse. Yeah, see, now we're getting like princesses here. The princess of the Byzantine Empire. I like it, I like it. And then our daughter Mabel, find a spouse for her. Oh, still not amazing options here. Um, but yeah, sure. Titles can be created. Duchy of Sicily. Ooh, nice. I don't know if mine do that, though. I can declare 10 wars. So no shortage of options there. Oh, I can declare war on Pope Alexander. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, that would cost me a lot of piety. Uh, but yeah, we could go, hey, Pope. Uh, we actually own your land. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. Keep that in mind. Keep that in the back pocket. Okay, Count Michel. Yeah, let's bring the feudal taxes back to normal here. Using a hook. Love it. Um... Okay, and we really, I mean, we, we're doing great here. Look, we got all this land. We were missing, obviously, Syracuse up here. So, um, which is part of the Byzantine Empire. Really? Hmm. So we can seize the county of Syracuse. Yeah, see, they're very strong because they're the Byzantine Empire. So they are 15,000 military strength. We are 976. But it says we are similar because we have um, a ton of these allies here, including Hungary. But we'd have to call on all our allies and, you know, even, I mean, that's, yeah, no, that's not, that's not gonna happen. But maybe we can make, like, a deal with Byzantine for Syracuse. Can we do that? Like, can we talk to, talk to this guy? Be like, hey, we would like We would like Syracuse, please. Ooh, achievement. Fine print. Use a hook to modify a feudal contract. I did do that, yes. Okay, and we got marriages happening. Love it. And we should throw a feast. All this stuff happening. Um, is our physician still imprisoned? Yeah, I want, I would like to get him back, please.
Oh, we can get it back for 20 gold. That's worth it. Great. We did not sway the Pope. Still working on that. Married some people. Got our court physician back. Very exciting. Uh, uh, let's see. Go ahead and create that. Um, you're fourth in line for County Camarda. Okay. Um, and let's see. What's our, uh, what's our counselor or marshal doing here? Oh, right. He's, yeah, that's right. He's, uh, dealing with. Um, dealing with that county that's uh, that's problematic there. Um, mm -hmm. We're getting old. Look at us. 67. Um, we should make sure we've got our... our um, our, our error situation in good shape here. So, um, the, okay. So what, what do we have here? We have hot build dynasty. This is our air. Um, what I'm worried about though. So, this is our son, three, five, five, thirteen, six. That's not great. Five, nine, six, thirteen, one. That's better. Also, he's a hunchback, I believe, yeah. Honest, elusive shadow, paranoid and greedy. Not great for a ruler. Brave, temperate, impatient, and intricate web weaver. So I, I, this guy, I think, should be our heir. Um. Which is tricky uh, with our current uh, our current succession um, situation. So uh, there's a few things we can do about that, though. We can imprison. No, that won't actually do it. We actually have to. Can we not murder our child? We could disinherit him. Um, remove from the line of the session. Yeah, okay, disinherit. He will not like us anymore. That's fine. It'll cost us 300 prestige. That's fine, we have plenty of prestige. It'll cost us 150 renown. Um, which, we have 772, so that's actually not too bad either. I think this is probably worth it. Um... He's just not very good. Um, I mean, the other thing we do is change our succession laws. Uh, and, you know, an attempt to, um, How's that research of horseshoes going? Oh, we're getting close. Only four years until we learn about horseshoes. That's cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there we go. Succession law. Confederate partition. Add laws. Um... Very expensive. Mm. 
Not gonna do that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna disinherit this guy. Um, can't imprison him, but uh, nope, nope, nope. Uh. Who's he married to? He's married to Princess Lanka of Hungary. Oh, that's right. This is the... Uh, is this what's holding the Hungarian alliance together? In which case, if we disinherit him, will that break apart the Hungarian alliance? So that's not great. But I think... Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. Are we allied with the Byzantine Empire? Um... It's not. Huh. It's too bad. Um, okay. Yeah, so I kind of wish... Um... I kind of wish I had, uh... Married my second oldest son to the Byzantine Empire instead, but it's fine. Um... All right, let's just try. Disinherit. Yeah, let's try it. Disinherit dynasty member, gains the trait, disinherit. Yep, okay. We did it. Let's hope that doesn't. Okay, and now our other guy, our other son is now our heir. Great. Did we lose our Hungarian alliance? Hopefully not. I don't think we did. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we still have our Hungarian alliance. And Lazo still likes us, so. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So our, yeah, our, our, the son we just inherited does not like us very much, but, um, that's fine. Um... You know, not all not all kids get along with their parents. Wow, and she's got a lot of claims. Okay, uh, do you join? There's a peasant uprising in Hungary, and he wants my help. That it's really weird that he wants my help with the peasant uprising. Um, he's gonna have no problem putting that down. Uh. Okay, serve the crown. Sure, let's go. Oh, wow, that's quite a bad present uprising he's got over there. Maybe we will help out with that. Oops. Oh, I mean, he's, no, he's gonna do just fine. <laughs> Deploy 6,000 troops to take on all of these peasants. Yep. Couldn't have even got over there if I wanted to. In time to help with the peasant uprising. Uh, we should hold a feast to celebrate our new, uh, oh, we don't have enough. All right, never mind. Oh, my brother Joffrey died. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting a lot of stress. We should need to hold that feast. Um...
Many treatises have been written on honorable conduct in war, but those authors' lives weren't on the line when they put pen to paper. I know from experience the best way to defeat my enemies is to ensure we only engage in battle on their on my terms. The question is what terms would be most advantageous? I'll trick my enemies into overextending. Very good chance there. Uh, hit and run tactics. No, uh, yeah, let's do it. Gather my retinue together for some more games here to try out my idea of faking a route to lure my opponents into overextending. Unfortunately, when my team attempted to try the new tactic, we were unable to hold our ground. Suffered a quick and humiliating defeat. Oh no. Oh no. It was 75 prestige. an uprising. Well, I took care of it. Bertold is now a renowned physician. That's good. Oh, and the culture. We got the culture converted um, successfully. That's awesome. Well done. My son is about to leave court. Oh, well, this is the son that I just disinherited. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you were working the... Who was working the culture angle? Oh. We were. Um, yeah, let's do that. Oh, good. Gain some opinion with the spy master. Um, okay, and we can... Wow, man, our queen keeps getting crazy intrigue skills. She's up to 20 intrigue. Nuts. Um, okay, let's go ahead and create some titles before we die here. Um, there's the Duchy of Sicily and the Duchy of Sicily. Duchy of Sicily, yeah, huge. Oh, 250. Yeah, okay, we need to get to 250. We'll get there. How old are we now? 69. Oh, Hungary wants to go to... Oh, no. Well, Count Roger Messina. Uh, oh, yeah. Yikes. More Holy Wars? Um, okay. Sure. I mean, those are all like my armies anyway. Nurturing relationships between the next generation of rulers is a duty we should not neglect, says Queen Sishil Gaida. Some of your more influential vassals of children that I am certain Guy would benefit from knowing. Cool. Jeffrey seems like a man of good repute. Richard. William. Okay. Joffrey. Patient, generous, diligent. Nice. Richard. Callous, vengeful, humble. Nope. William. Trusting, fickle, greedy. Okay, let's go Joffrey for sure. Um, love it. All right. Um, and then let's raise our armies here. Okay. And where are we going? Where are we going? Down here. Nice. What can we do with him? With the hook. Just imprison him. My spy master had the priest brought forth for the revelation and judgment of grand conspiracy. However, when the priest refused to confess, Count Joffrey had absolutely no evidence to support his accusations. Oh. Um. 
Please stop embarrassing me, Joffrey. Ah, wow, that's a lot of piety lost. Ben. Wow, that's a quick siege. Woo! Four, I captured four, four people. Wow. Wow. Let's go. Um, oh, they must not have any money. Conversion. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Just gradually spreading Catholicism in these uh, in these lands by uh, by demanding that everyone convert. <laughs> oh, you're already. Where are you? Yeah, you're Catholic. You're Catholic. Everyone's converting. Okay, uh, let's see. That looks like it's already fine. Um, so, I don't know, let's try this. Yep. Target of this guy. Okay, of Tripolitana? Well, okay. What does he. What does he want to do with that? Because I'm already. Like, alright. I mean, I can continue to. Siege all your cities if you'd like. Not sure exactly what you're. lands here. I don't quite get why. Let's see. Maybe if I go elsewhere and then come back. That's huge. Increasing control and county progress gain by 20%. I've been trying to do that forever. Yeah, I don't know. There's not any, like... Oh, over here. Ah. Got it. Okay. He must control his other territory. War declared. By County of Foggy. Oh, really? This guy again? This guy is such a pain. Um, it's like, alright, oh no. Oh, not Bertold again. Uh, 
not accept. Okay. Yeah, what did they... Oh, they're taking... Oh, no. Oh, we gotta call in Hungary. Jeez, 2022. Yikes. Oh, 539. Oh, jeez, they're everywhere. Okay, hold on. Let's call in Hungary. Hi, King Laszlo. I would like your help with... It's very important to... Important to pick the right one here. Um... Well, that's cool. It doesn't really cost us anything, I guess, because we're joining it as a, because or because we're the defender. So, um, excellent. Join the war, Hungary. I think we're gonna win that war very quickly. We'll let Hungary take care of a home front while we, uh, while we deal with this siege down here. How's it looking here? It's not looking great, but enter Hungary, please. Where's Hungary? Yes, here they come. They're on their way. Let's not let's not worry too much. Hold on. Oh no. What happened? Count Roger replaced me as the head of the dynasty. Why is that? We're losing a lot of battles back home here, but um We're gonna win this battle over here, so, you know. Okay, very good. Captured his daughter. It's cool. It's worth 10 gold. Not much. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and capture that now. Meanwhile, Hungry really need you to show up soon, Hungry. There we go. They'll be here soon. Okay, I would really like to get my court, oh, I lost my court position. Okay, that's not great. There we go, hungry doing the work for me here. Yes, make it happen, Hungary. I'm off fighting this holy war in foreign lands, so you gotta, you gotta help me uh, hold down the home front. Look at this, Hungary is so good. Just racking them. Go at it, Hungary. Look at that, we're now in the positive on that war. That's nice. That's nice. There we go. We won the other war. Force demands. Love it. Okay, now we take this army that we are commanding down here. Yes, and we return home with it. But really, we go straight to uh, let's go straight to attacking them here. Okay, now I'm the head of the dynasty again. Oh no, did um, Roger die? Oh no. What happened to Roger? Your brother Roger died. Oh no. It's too bad. What did he die? He died of cancer at age 55. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Uh, huh. Okay. Contest Matilda. So, what is... I mean, yeah, he had a lot of... Uh, interesting. So, oh, I guess we took on his... His... Feudal folks. We took on directly, I guess. This guy's a problem. Um... We should plot to kill him. Uh, but who's he? His heir is also a problem, yeah, so, okay. Um, 
Deep, 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 deep. Um, all right, well, let's get our council. Let's get a marshal back on our council, at least. Man, hungry is just going at it here. It's so good. So good. <laughs> Man, what a good alliance. Commoner of Italian heritage has been accosted in the streets of Trani over some minor offense. By making a statement of the defense, I could perhaps convince King Bishop Alexander of the papacy. Yeah, we do want to do this. The Italians are good people. Yeah. Uh, okay, good. Curry in favor of the Pope. Always good. Always good. Uh, okay, great. Pope Alexander is not swayed, oh, but at least he's plus eight with us now. Um, wow, lots of stuff here. Um, Ransom Philippa, I will. Count Eustache's contract. Oh, yeah, he's the new, he's the new dude down there. Uh, he likes us. He's good at diplomacy. We should put him on the council as our, uh, as our, uh, chancellor, probably. Um, although Count Robert's also good. Create the Duchy of Sicily. We now have that. Too many held duchies. Yep, so let's see. Calabria, Apulia, and Sicily. So yeah, we will want to uh, we will want to give one of those to someone cool in our court. This Dowd guy is um, really talented. He's 21, Marshall. It really, his only problem is that he is um, is that he is not uh, Catholic. Um, oh, demand conversion will not accept. Base reluctance. His opinion of us. Yeah, so I think, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna <laughs> grant this guy a pretty significant uh, title here. Um, uh, so, yeah, and he'll gain a lot of opinion of us. Um, we'll gain a lot of stress though, but then, um, then but we have too many duchies right now, right? But then I think we'll be able to demand his conversion because he'll be, he'll like us much more. It's a, it's a, this is a risky, this is risky. 
But we will, yeah, our stress, that'll, it'll result in critical stress levels, which is not great. Um, Oh, this guy seems cool too, Norman. Grant titles. We're gonna gain the stress regardless. But at least with this guy, we don't have the problem of him having to convert to Catholicism. Uh, we should really pick someone in our family though, huh? Oh, there's, right, there's our son that, um, There's the son that we uh, disinherited. Can we not? No, we can't. Mm. Hmm. All our siblings are dead. We could just make Count Joffrey, because he's already um, uh, he's already has a county of Lecce, so we would just. Uh, Give him this. Great. Okay. And that didn't reduce our stress at all. Okay. Nice. We need a new steward because he's now gone. Um, we could assign this guy. Yeah. Sure. See if we can sway him. Oof, minus 77. It's real rough. Might accept conversion. Let's try. My faith is too strong to be swayed easily. Hmm. It's too bad. No, he doesn't like us even, he likes us even less. <laughs> Um, I like how he's promoting culture in his own area. He's saying like, hey, convert to Sicilian culture. <laughs> he's not Sicilian. <laughs> he's like the worst person to do this. Uh, Alright, well let's try swaying him. We have a good chance there. So let's do that. Um... Those duchies to my successor. Um, I couldn't. I don't know if I could easily do that. Um, oh, I've been overwhelmed by stress. Okay. All right. What did I? What happened here? Uh, lately, it feels like I've been constantly distracted by lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. All the hardships of everyday life. Oh, because we've got. Well, we're about to win this war. It's all too easy. Lose 
myself in danger and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life. What should I do about them? Uh, trip to the brothel. Uh, sequester myself. Uh, yeah, trip to the brothel sounds pretty good. And then also let's win this war. Um, that'll probably lower stress, right? Winning a war. Um, and we really should throw a feast. We need 40 more. Oh, we need to stop commanding an army, expand the army. And then we need more, we need 40 more gold, so. Sister died. Yeah, we, yeah, a lot of people dying in our family. So we're, you know, we are gaining stress. Um, yeah, so I, oh, I guess we could have granted titles to this guy. But then we just run into the same, because we're about to die. So we just run into the same situation where um, we would have, we would die and then our son would have too many duchies. Uh, but I guess that would help him curry favor with folks to give him away. Okay, faction created against me. They're not very powerful. Oh, it's it's peasants. That's fine. Oh, we finally discovered horseshoes. Love it. That's been huge. The Sicilians have been studying for 30 years, and we finally, finally got the horseshoes together. So that's cool. Um... Now let's focus on chronicle writing. There we go. All right, we're dead. Okay, King Robert of Sicily rests in the arms of the Lord at 72 years of age. He died of old age. A paragon of valor and gallantry, he will always be remembered for his cordial and just nature in face of all odds. King Guy ascends to the throne. Thank God we've adjusted that. Uh, courageous and willing to rush to action. Many hope that Guy's bravery will not see the realm to fall into reckless ruin. So glad I adjusted my successor here. Continue as King Guy. Okay. That's big. Um, we are now King Guy. Dashing. Um, so, um, uh, let's see. We have... What just happened? You died. The king is dead. Long live the king. Do not worry. Although your old character is dead, because you're the game of dynasties. Yep. Uh, death is a natural part of the game. You'll often continue as your oldest eligible child. Plan a safe succession. We recommend you have at least two children. The second serving as a spare. Uh, one fortunate accident. Yep. Um, one succession. On succession, you may lose some of the titles. Do not worry. You retain claims on all titles you lose. I understand. Okay, so he's going to need a lifestyle. And... Um, let's see. So he's brave, which is cool. So that's plus martial points. He's temperate. He's impatient. He's an intricate web weaver, so he likes the intrigue. Uh, which is cool. So, it, so we may go in a different direction here, which is fun. Intrigue. Very good. Schemes, version, secrets. Intrigue plus three. Temptation, focus. Seduction, desire, gentle, art, twist, be learning, little finger. Fertility plus 20. Attraction. Scheme power, so that's for seducing people. Um, threat, intimidation, intrigue plus two, and dread. Hmm. I think probably skullduggery. Skullduggery. Let's do it. New Archbishop. Herbert does not endorse you. Yeah, well. Oof. Um, this, uh, this guy really did, really does not like us. Um, is he the most qualified steward, though? Um, 
Yeah, see, Count Robert is already doing still Chancellor stuff. So... Okay. Really doesn't like us. Our bishop really doesn't like us. So many problems. I think we should immediately throw a feast. Um, so what are we doing? We're trying to sway him, right? I think we are... Oh, we're not trying to do anything. All right, well, we should try and sway, I think we should try and sway our bishop first here. Oof, very low chance. Ah, our wife needs to help out. Uh, she can help with intrigue a bit and marshal quite a bit, or, you know, a bit more. Um, yeah, our marshal's pretty good. Uh, let's make her do intrigue, because that could actually help with current favor with this guy too. Start that scheme. Okay. Um. Low county control in Apulia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. All right. I guess let's actually switch this to there. Oops. That. Yeah. Apulia. a feast ASAP. We need 12 more gold to do it. Pregnancy. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, King Queen Theodora, is bearing a child. Excellent. Two more gold. Well, I guess we should actually have some buffer, too. In case we need to buy wine. I became the new dynasty head. Okay, that's good. Count Eustace does not like us. Yeah, we should do a quick audit of our realm here. Um, da, da, da. Oh, I can ask my head of faith for gold. Yeah, actually, that would be good. What does the Pope think of me? 14. Um, well, let's wait until we can do it without losing favor from him. Um, okay, we've got... Yeah, see, so we need to hold a feast ASAP. Uh, and then we need to potentially get this guy on the council. What has he got? I mean, this guy's already super pissed at us, so maybe we should just... Would Count Robert be good as a steward? I think he would, right? Yeah, he would. Okay, so we're going to swap Robert over there, and then we're going to appoint Count Eustache as the Chancellor. Yeah, this other guy hates us anyway. There we go, now he's closer. Minus 13, a feast will get him to, um, a feast will get him positive easily. So, let's wait till we have 250 and then throw a feast. Or if we can get this Hey, we have a daughter. Um, uh, let's see, Aurelia. Yeah, that's a cool name. Good 
stupid Sicilian name. Uh, oh, Otavia is actually nice. Let's go back to that. Otavia. Yes, we have a daughter. Nice. Okay, she's our heir now. Well organized court. Oh, look at that. Every courtier gained. Ah, what do we do? Uh, oh, because our spouse is cool. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, let's get to this feast. Oh, grant a title. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. That, so it worked out. We now have a full Sicilian deal going on. Um, Duke Joffrey. Um, why does he need a title? Oh, because he doesn't have any titles. Okay, let's make him the Count of Rosano. Nice, okay, and then, so, let's see. We promoted culture effectively, so that's great. Um, and I think we're now, we're now a monoculture. Yeah, we're now all Sicilian all the way. So that's cool. Um, yeah, and let's go ahead and increase some development in, say in Salerno. Okay, get ourselves to 250 for that feast. And then probably call it a night. There we go. Host feast. Let's go. Guests are gathered in the Great Hall. Lords and ladies from near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright, the spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. The Lord over there is smiling and made across the hall with intimate familiarity. A possible affair. At leading the other side of the hall is keeping the walls, avoiding all conversations with all eye contact. A secret to keep safe. Everyone is hiding something, and with a practice of eye, even the smallest details will show you the whole picture. They're wearing their shame so open. Observant of details. Nice. We are we certainly know how to navigate the schemes. My lord, the wine. See, I was worried about this, and that's why I saved up an extra 50 gold. Because um, now we get to buy the wine. Everyone loves us. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I'm often disappointed. After a long day, I'm playing with Theodore when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Ah, okay, let's see. Who could use a tutor? Um, oh, well, the let's see. I think the Archbishop, right? Because, yeah, because he's not good. Not good at all. Oh, but he'd be insulted. Okay, well... Um, uh, Marshall, or Count, I'm going to go Eustace, and that'll give me more opinion with him. Nice. Pleading gaze I received from my sister Matilda is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner she has hidden all evening, and the walls are hindering her escape. I think a countess would act in such a way. I will distract the virgin guests. She'll like us more, or... She loses opinion and every guest gains opinion. I mean, I think we're gonna do that. Uh, do we have any reason why? There's her sister, she's married to a count. Um, yeah, I think it's worth, I mean, every guest gaining opinion, yes, it's worth it. With everyone headed for their respective homes, I'm proud to say the feast was a success. I have my wife Theodora to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude to see the last uh, guest off. Nice. Okay, everyone's gaining opinion of us. Fantastic. Um, oh, and we finished the uh, control in the county task. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, everything's just looking up. Our bishop is still completely incompetent, but... 
Um, great. Feast is done. Are we... Are we swaying? Who are we swaying? I think we're swaying that other random dude. Uh, let's sway our bishop at this point. Oh. I'm already scheming against Herbert. Oh, I'm already scheming him. Okay. Icky. How much does our Pope like us now? Plus 15. Not quite enough to... Uh... Alright. Alright. Yeah, this guy is a problem. Okay, well, that I think will probably do it. We're in pretty good shape here. So we got, let's see, among our realm, uh, you know, really only one. And eh, this mayor is not super happy with us, but uh, really only one major vassal that doesn't like us. Boy, does he not like us. And uh, otherwise. Otherwise, we're doing pretty well. That, yeah, that transition was actually pretty smooth. Cool. All right, very good. Let's, um... Game is saved automatically because my Iron Man. Pretty good. All right. Well, that'll do it for now. It's getting pretty late. Um, make some good progress. We are King of Sicily, which is cool. King Guy. King Guy of Sicily. And um, things are relatively stable. Um, so that's great. Peace time right now. Love it. All right.